Next Generation Kona debuts with more unique design. It has many features, including a modern interior and class-specific driver assistance equipment. Unfortunately, the powertrain hasn't advanced that much. The second generation Kona is scheduled to be released in 2024. What is Kona? Hyundai Kona has been updated to the 2024 model. The new second generation of Hyundai's midsize crossover builds on the original with new styling, a roomier cabin, and the latest technology features. It competes with other affordable crossovers such as the Chevrolet Trailblazer, Honda HRV, Kia Niro, and Volkswagen Taos. The new Kona is bigger than before. Overall length is about 6 inches longer and rear legroom is increased by several inches. This is a welcome addition, as the rear of the previous model was a bit cramped. The trim range is similar to last year, but the Sportune Kona N has been discontinued and there's no official word yet on whether it will return someday. What's under the Kona's hood? Hyundai hasn't changed much from last year. Most Konas are equipped with a 2.0-liter four-cylinder engine, paired with a continuously variable transmission, CVT. Unfortunately, the 147 horsepower and 132 pound-feet of torque remain unchanged from the current model, so expect slow acceleration when you put your foot down. The N-Line and Limited trims are equipped with his more powerful 1.6-liter turbo engine paired with an 8-speed automatic transmission. This engine is actually less powerful than the previous one, producing 190 horsepower. The transmission is new, replacing the old dual-clutch automatic transmission, but with 195 newton meters, 5 horsepower less than the previous model. How does Kona run? So far, we've only driven the 1.6-liter Kona, and we came away with mixed feelings. The new automatic transmission immediately looks like an improvement over the dual-clutch automatic transmission it replaced. Gear changes are very smooth, although they take a little longer than before. We think this is a compromise that will satisfy most Kona drivers. We've already praised the Kona's turbocharged acceleration, but now that the Kona is a bit bigger, even the turbocharged engine has to work harder on freeway on-ramps and during high-speed passing. When tested at Edmunds, we expect the new model to have worse 0 to 60 miles per hour acceleration than its predecessor. Also, while we previously praised the Kona's handling, we found it more prone to riding over bumps. Despite its increased size, the new Kona offers a solid mid-corner feel. This is a strange flaw in the competent driving experience. Is Kona comfortable? The old Kona had a tendency to be too noisy, but the new car has almost completely resolved that issue. This improvement, along with improved sound insulation throughout the rest of the cabin, makes the new Kona even more comfortable to drive on a daily basis. Ride quality can be a little off due to small bumps and bumps in the road, but it doesn't feel any better or worse than most cars in this segment. What does the interior of the Kona look like? The new Kona's sleek, modern interior looks more cohesive than its predecessor. The center console has been streamlined and the transmission selector button has been moved to the steering column paddle, creating space for a large storage compartment perfect for grabbing a drink or simply storing lots of gear. The Kona's new steering wheel, which appears to be shared with the significantly updated 2024 Sonata, can be seen, and the front passenger gets extra practicality with a dash-mounted storage cubby. The interior is just as high-tech as the exterior, with thoughtful details such as ambient lighting strips scattered throughout the cabin. Hyundai offers the Kona a wealth of optional features that many competitors don't have, including heated and ventilated seats and a heated steering wheel. The highlight of the Kona's cabin is undoubtedly the large screen with two 12.3-inch screens. The touchscreen features Hyundai's latest infotainment system and supports over-the-air OTA, updates to keep the software up to date. New features include Digital Key 2 Touch, which allows owners to use their smartphone as a car key, a 360-degree parking camera, and a Bose Premium audio system. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto smartphone integration is standard, and entry-level SE and SEL trims feature wireless connectivity. Strangely, the more expensive versions with built-in navigation systems lack wireless connectivity. However, Hyundai recently announced plans to release an OTA update that will add wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto to models with navigation next year. Additional advanced driver assistance systems are also installed on the deck. Remote Park Assist, accessible via the key fob, blind spot camera, lane centering assist, and front cross-traffic alert join the list of features available on the Kona.
These join existing assists including forward collision warning, adaptive cruise control. Please subscribe.